everybody welcome back to my channel it seems like last month it was all about folios and this month it's all about envelopes hope you've just caught my latest which was the little um, recycled envelope booklet so hopefully you've already seen that don't forget to click that subscribe button and like and please leave me a comment so that was what we did the other day and then I was um, I came across this uh, what's it called Barbara at 49 dragonflies did on the 27th of September this year she did an easy envelope journal tutorial where she took six business envelopes and she just cut one in half so then she had five business envelopes and, and one cut in half and she glued them together to make this easy little cutest little she called it an envelope journal, but I think it's like a, just an envelope um, booklet, I guess, a journal booklet. And it lays flat when it's opened. And I thought, I can do that. I love Barbara. She's so clear with her instructions. And so I'm going to link it below. And I want you, if you're interested, to go and check her out. You'll just need six business envelopes. Just get new ones, I think. But if you've got old ones, it doesn't matter because you're just going to glue them shut and fold them in half. How easy is that? Easy for me. <laughs> so um, you can tell um, she's just inked around all of hers. And then I just started to play around with some spray stains. I thought, why am I doing that? But anyway, it doesn't matter. It'll be all covered. And so let's do one. I This morning I thought, right, well, we'll cover this one together. But I thought, well, maybe you'd like me to just start, if I can remember how she did it. This is one that's just been cut in half. So there's that one. And I'm going to put a closure on. And the other yeah so I've got to get my other envelopes I've been going crazy I got onto the graphics fairy and I've been oh, having fun with images okay so all she did was she she left uh, she glued this down and you can leave them white or you can use distress oxide spray stains or whatever you'd like and the envelope there I've I glued it down extra as well oh now look that's made a fibre out of me I'll just fix that okay so what I'm doing is I'm just putting a bit of glue under the corner so that that gets down nice and sturdily these are nice and grungy and then she's folded them right side in so that that glued down flap is facing you and she's just um, folded them in half like so I mean she did a great tutorial she's amazing she's so good you can go and have a go and have a look at her channel and her wonderful tutorial I just thought I have to do this for this um, envelope junk journal swap we're doing oh no I thought oh no that's right I thought I folded it wrong for a start um, yeah we're doing a swap on junk journal junksters down under using I think it's is it eight minimum of eight I think envelopes to make a junk journal and this is just a little booklet that I thought I might like to include in that junk journal. Because I don't want to film it until 
the swap actually goes to you know I think it, I think we have to have it all done by the end of October but meanwhile I can do this right so what's going to happen now is I've chosen an image for the front and um, before I went away I've just come back off holidays and before I went on holidays there was a terrible incident in England with that tree being chopped down at on at Hadrian's Wall and I was so upset about it I love trees so this is my ode to the tree I just love tra trees so that's where the tree idea came from They're almost like constable paintings. I downloaded them from an Etsy shop. Okay, now I want to put a little tie closure. This is this is the half one. The half one at the front will be the cover and the other half of it will be the back of the of that little booklet. Okay, well I'll just leave that there. Now how did I plan on doing this? The front is going to be a pocket on you can have a pocket side loading or top loading. So I'm going to glue this to this. But only on three sides, so that will become a pocket. Now I'm thinking that if I put that there, that's going to be problematic because I won't be able to get a journal card in there. Oh, there's always something, something, isn't there? I suppose if I glue that flat, make sure it's really flat, the journal card should not catch. Okay, am I confident? That <laughs> am I confident that it will not catch? Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to give it a whirl. If I put glue this could this could end up in a disaster. You've seen it here first. Seam binding is thick enough that I don't think this uh, is going to seep through. But if I put that there like that, holding it taut, oops, and then put that on the top of it, exactly. that and just open it up quickly that should be right shouldn't it okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down this side down the bottom up being quite generous I'll put a skinny card in anyway but um, you don't want to come undone and then this one's the first folded one and we're just going to go straight in on top of that like that that 
that makes a pocket. Now, what do we do next? I think we open it out. We get the next, we get the next envelope. That's right, we put that on top of that. I told you I need clear instructions. So we did a pocket there. This one will be glued down on all four sides to make it really strong. And then this one will be a pocket. Okay, let's um so we're just gonna put this all over here. I used distressed oxide on these this morning and I used they've turned out this bluey color I don't know I, I used salvage patina weathered wood and a bit of walnut and that, that's what I got so whether or not there was something in the envelopes I don't know but I quite like the color I quite I quite like that right so now we have a solid page that doesn't look like it's glued enough there you could have side opening pockets but um barbara did top ones and so i'm doing top ones Right, now we put the, get the next envelope and put it down and this time we're going to do the three sides on this one. It's been 36 degrees here today with the really hor most horrible quick wind I don't know how many knots it's going the wind but uh, there has been huge fires out the road here and I'm getting PTSD from the last bushfire event we had here in 2019 it's um I just hope the firefighters and all the families are safe and this is only spring so <laughs> Oh, I think we're going to be in for it. Okay, so one, two, three, and then this one, we get another envelope. Now what did I do with that one? That one's a pocket, so we've got one pocket, two pockets. So this one will be glued, this one will be glued totally down. I thought these might make a beautiful little um, affirmation booklet, perhaps. Okay, so we'll glue that one fully down. Hopefully I'm in frame. goes totally down and then we have one more and then a back page so that was totally down just check they're all in frame I think so hello <laughs> oh, we had a lovely holiday oh we went to the beach and went to the sea and it was wonderful. Right, so that was fully down, wasn't it? Yes, it was. 
uh, just need to go a little bit closer to the edge there I think down at Nelson Bay near Newcastle it was wonderful now this one will be a pocket so that will go three sides there I just love trees, they are my sanctuary. I'm a bit of a tree hugger. Um, okay. Okay, so that will make another pocket. Let's put some weight on that for a minute. So we've got one pocket, two pockets, three pockets. And now we come to the back. And that will be glued totally down. So that this one will be okay. What we'll do is we'll Make sure that that's got good coverage over there. Now Barbara took hers to the sewing machine and sewed around each page. She did hers with a beautiful woodland kit. And um, as I say, only, only, only for the fact that I had printed out so many beautiful images of trees before I went on holiday, um, and they were here. But uh, this would be lovely, a lovely Christmas. Now I'll put more glue over the top actually I don't think I closed that so I'll close that in there yes I thought I'd just turn the camera on and do a craft along with me and just to get get me back into the you know into the swing of things. I was looking at it because I didn't really follow much while I was away. I was on holiday. So, and there we have our back page and our front page. And it opens one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 little pages from six envelopes. Now to cover the spine, oh, I didn't close the front, the front half of an envelope either, hang on. I just thought, no, I'll just do this before my husband gets home from work. Today was his first day back in 36 degree heat. Oh, I feel for, I feel for him. Okay, now, now Barbara covered the spine with a nice piece of fabric, but I've got this gorgeous bit of paper. And so I thought I would glue the paper on like so. That looks adorable, doesn't it? Should it go that way or that way? 
Nu știu ce spera. I think it might go up the other way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put a crease in there. against that on the front nice and nice and firmly and then we need a little crease in the back I mean it's so delicate and little you don't need a scoreboard for that I don't think Okay, so you can see where I've creased a little a little spine. And that will just go over there. I'm going to put lots and lots of glue on that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Okay, so let's get this down. I'm going to put lots of glue on the spine. Because it is only paper. Now this little piece of paper was from the wallpaper kit from the Graphic Fairy. The trees I actually paid for from, um, I'll tell you, I'll have to put it in the description box. I've got a book where I write down all my um, things I buy off Etsy, all the digitals. there it is how easy is that to put together doesn't that that looks so sweet that would make a lovely little Christmas gift tell you what you can fill that up with um, gift cards and you've got your little closure like that and like that isn't that adorable and I'll and I'll do the inside I'll do the inside at some point and um, you'll probably see it all over Instagram and then we have the one here's what I made earlier <laughs> and I thought looks different when it's white doesn't it I've really inked a, used a lot of ink on that I don't know why I did that but never mind I've chosen an image I downloaded a frame uh, she's from the graphics fairy um, and the frame is from the graphics fairy and the wallpaper is from the graphics fairy as well so that will go on there like so and that will be my second little book all I have to do is glue that but because I don't want the ribbon um, well it probably wouldn't go in there a face would it hmm I was thinking, yeah, it would go on the side as well. But then I thought I could just, just have it slip over the edge. Like that, and then just have it, just have it slipped over the edge but then why do that when you can have it all in one which makes a lot more sense doesn't it mm. okay I think I've
talked myself into being sensible. So... to measure it, make sure these ends are the same length on this side. over the top yeah that definitely makes a lot of sense actually I haven't I haven't oh yeah there's one pocket yeah okay right Sometimes when you, you've been away from the craft room, oh, look, oh, Lord, I missed it. I pined for my... <laughs> I didn't tell my husband, but I really did miss my craft room. And I was like, no, enjoy the holiday. Enjoy, which I did. I did. I enjoyed every minute of it. But... Um, I have so many things I want to get done before Christmas. But the trip proved fruitful anyway because, um, you know, I was able to stock up on my envelopes, which um, I've used, and manila folders. I've used so many manila folders that I was running, I was down to my last six. Okay. I'm going to pop that on top. And glue her down really, really, really well. Graphics Fairy. Oh, look, they've got so many marvellous images. It's well worth it. I haven't done any of the tutorials yet. I I took out a, a year membership. And I looked at it today and, you know, the year's up in February. I can't believe. And I haven't done half the things I wanted to do. I wanted to do every tutorial that I could get my hands on. Never mind. All good things come. Okay, there she is down. That is amazing. Now, as I haven't, I haven't chosen an image for the back yet, so I'm just going to leave that. But I will, however, glue half of this down and the spine, and then I'll leave the back flapping so that. I can slip the slip the ribbon under the image. And then the 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 one I put up on the on YouTube um I listed today, I've got I did a whole other one. I've done a whole different idea, so I'm going to film that. I was going to try and get it all done today, but That came from the same bundle as they all they're all tone they all tone in so well together. Right, so when I get let's see if we can't get a lovely little bow. There 
here we have two sweet little what did she call them 49 dragonflies easy envelope journal tutorial and Barbara I don't think you'll ever see this but I'm a big fan of yours and it was so easy to follow I just love doing it and thank you so much for um, helping me to get out of my slump and get back into it so everybody thank you so much um, welcome to all my new subbies and Please, if you haven't subscribed, please join us. Subscribe right now. <laughs> please, pretty please. Um, and thank you. Thank you to everybody. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be about envelopes. <laughs> That's what's happening. It's all envelopes. So thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you all again really soon. Bye for now. See ya.